Today's the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen, amen. Today's a new day, great day, grand day, and I'm coming back with another video. Hey, hey. Welcome everybody back to the channel and welcome everyone who is new. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sabrina and I'm your virtual best friend and I do all types of vlogs. I do lifestyle type content and I'm also doing uh, entrepreneur business type you know a uh, type of content so if you like that like that definitely go ahead and subscribe and do all that good stuff so enough of this talking let's get into the video as you can tell in the thumbnail and all that all that all that all that then this video here I'm going to be talking about how you can use chat GPT if you don't know what it is I did a video all about it definitely go ahead it should be around here definitely go ahead and click on that if you want to know more about that um, but in this video here I'm not gonna be talking about none of it I'm just gonna be talking about how you can use it how you can use it by getting how to use it to get a job so um, if you're interested in all that and you want to know then you guess what you came to the right place let's continue watching the first thing I want to talk about is resume writing chat GPT does an excellent job in helping you get your resume together helping you to uh, put it together get your work experience uh, the format of it how it should look what it should say even the wording you can play around with it and even coming up with a cover letter mm -hmm. uh, how to make a resume with chat GPT super and easy First, we want to start by um, signing in. I, like I said, I've already did a video about how to set up your account. We can, you can watch that, but we're just going to get right into it. So um, you start a new chat, which I am at right now. Then you're going to say, this is what you're going to write. It says, I am about to ask you to uh, write, write me a resume for me to obtain a job in we just write tech support just any job it doesn't really matter uh, comma i need you oh sorry spell need right <laughs> i need you to um ask me at least this is say 25, 20, 25, even 30 questions. You want to keep it around there. Questions. Okay, so once they answer, uh, answer and give you your questions, I'm going to copy and paste these. Put it on a note, notebook. And then we're going to answer all these questions that they ask. So it says, what is your full name? And this person's name is going to be Billy Bob. Bob. All right, what is the preferred your title position? We're just going to put tech support because why not tech support? Next says, was your contact information 555 five, 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 five. This is not real as you know, but we're just going to make like it is. And then this is when you're going to ask you about your experience. So you'll put all that details into the, to there. And we're going to go back to question five, where it says, do you have any previous experience in tech support? I'm going to write no, but I am going to write down the customer service experience I've had here. Okay, so once you answer all your questions, uh, your answers, you're then going to copy and paste your answers right here. And here you go. This will be your outline of your resume. And it literally tells you, look, it just comes, lets you know what you're trying to do, your experience, it puts it there, your certification and your skills, your language and your goals. And I'm gonna show you how to jazz it up even more, but this is just the basic of it. And then I also, before I recorded this one, I did do a customer service one so and you can just kind of see how that looks as well um, and you can play around with it ask you can add more stuff to it um, if you want but there you go searching for a job can be extremely overwhelming can I say um, chat GPT does an excellent job in helping you find really good job boards and websites and resources that you can go to and navigate through to help you find a job or help you in your job search journey 
and it can even suggest keywords and help you pinpoint to the exact job that you're really looking for. This is my second time recording this and it didn't go through. So, um, I don't know if something happened to my audio, but the point is I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to walk you through what I did. So first I asked chat GBT. First I went to the new chat right there. And then, um, in the new chat, let's go back to the top. I asked, what are the best entry level tech jobs with no prior experience? Because before I start my job search, I want to make sure that I'm searching for the right job that I'm looking for. So if you're looking for a tech job, if you're looking for a customer service job, whatever it is that you're looking for, you want to ask them, what is the best job for a customer service rep with 15 years of experience? So they're going to give you suggestions of what you can do in the different job titles. For me, I'm still going on the tech job because we just did that with the resume prior. So we're just going to keep the theme. So here are literally seven different jobs that you can do with a uh, for a tech job with no prior experience and telling you what it is. So after I asked that question and then after that, I asked what are the best websites to search for entry level tech jobs? So they said Indeed, LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Dice, and they even kind of give you like a little bit more detail about what the website does, what they are. This one actually, Dice actually specializes in tech professional jobs. So there you go. That's actually a really good place to go if you're looking for a tech job. Career builder, simply hired, and that, and you know, so forth, so forth. And to judge it up and add, add a little sauce to your search, I asked what are the best search keywords for finding an IT support specialist job. As you can see up prior before, that was one of the jobs that you can do with no, uh, you know, no tech experience. Um, they also have te um, help desk. So you can also say you want to do help desk, quality assurance tester or whatever it is that you are interested in. You can put that in right there. What are the best keywords? To search for that and here you go they give you 10 of them that you can do and then once you are done with that and this is when I like to add a little extra and this also helps you with your resume building as well what are the skills needed for IT support specialist job and it tells you right here um, what it is that you need so if you have no prior experience but you have customer service experience you have problem-solving experience you have communication experience you may have, you know, learning, uh, adaptability, you know, reporting, time management, teamwork. So you have pay attention to detail. So you have all the other skills that are needed. You might be missing too. So you can definitely put the skills that you do have, make sure that those are in your resume and put all the, you know, years and experience that you have with it to make your resume even pop even more. So when you answer your questions for your resume, uh, you can definitely put those skills in there to make sure that ChatGPT puts that in there. And then there you go. That's how you can search for a job using ChatGPT. Now, if, if interviews are not your thing and you get kind of stumped, well, don't worry. ChatGPT has some really great practice interviews and questions that you can practice. Um, it can even help you with that interview process, giving you questions and, and trying to... Um, even You can even... Um, I requested hey how does this answer sound you got to type it out of course they can't hear you but you can type it out and it could definitely give you feedback on how that answer was sound it gives you I mean be honest with you it's pretty pretty stinking cool hmm. we are going to get into some interview questions so first we're going to start by asking um, I questions because you want to be when you are at talking to chat BT you want to be as detailed as possible of what you're trying it for to do because it still is a computer and you do need to play around with your questions and how you actually just to let you know so you can get the best results so sometimes I do kind of play around with my wording my wording to make sure I get exactly what I'm asking for it to do so back to say I need help uh, I need help I need yeah, I need for you to ask me interview questions in obtaining um, was it IT support special? Can I spell specialist? Specialist job. So here you go. 
here is some questions that he says how can you explain your experience with trouble sh um, shooting hard hardware and software issues he says your answer should highlight that <coughs> excuse me your answer should highlight your technical skills experience so it's going to give you a question and then also give you um, some feedback advice on how to answer my brain went blank advice on how to answer the question um, another question you can say um, with interview um, give me some tips when for in is interviewing for a I T I said I S I T support special jo specialist job with out any experience there we go and so says here you go so here's some tips on interviewing for an IT support specialist job without any experience boom here are some they're gonna give you some tips you can read that search that you know here you go like boom gonna tell you all you need to do for somebody who doesn't have experience in IT support on how to answer how to interview and then um, the last question I will probably ask is um, I have so the next question I'm gonna ask is my final question but you could like I said you can play around with this for a while and get all the information you need it says I need for you to ask me interview questions and obtain the IT support specialist job with feedback to my answers I have no previous tech experience so boom enter and let's see the results so here are some questions that may necessarily an interviewer is going to ask but these are some good questions that you should be able to answer so when coming into our interview and they're asking you about your experience with tech support you can give them some of the feedback that chat gpt then already kind of um, trained you and helped you to um, to kind of ready for those ans uh, for those questions so like here it says while you may not have a direct tech experience what transferable skills do you possess that will make you a good fit for the IT support role we we already know in the previous one uh, we were looking at um, IT support specialist role um, what are the some of the key things are problem solving and it tells you right here the question allow you to highlight the skills that you that can be valuable to an IT feedback um, to an IT career so support blah, I can speak support <laughs> position such as problem solving attention uh, pay attention to details strong communication skills yada 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 so I'm not gonna bore you and read you you know all of this stuff because I don't know some of y'all probably want to do IT but you can get the gist of how this can definitely give you the confidence and the information you need to get you whatever job your dream job and what you're looking for now here's another thing that I found really interesting is gives you career advice as far as helping you get the research the insight on different jobs um, that are available different careers and opportunities that you can look into how to get into them some of them is general basic knowledge but some of it's like if you never heard of it before didn't know what it was or how to get into it what courses or what what it looks like um definitely it definitely is good to ask those type of questions if there's some there's a job that you've been kind of thinking about getting into or you see a job or uh, job searching you don't know what that is you can research it and see what that is about and kind of figure out how maybe that's something you might want to do so i really do love the fact that it can do that okay so for the next thing for career advice say you're next you're going to start with another you know new chat whatever um, what are the highest paying jobs in oops, jobs in tech? So here are some of the highest paid jobs in uh, tech. So let's just say we want to do 
Chief Technology Officer. What is the average salary for a Chief Technology Officer? Go down. Then it's going to tell you you can make what? Wait a minute. I need to change careers real quick. Da, 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 da. It says you can make from raisins for 150000 to 300000 a year. Holla. Hold up. Okay. Add chat GPT. Wait a minute. I got a couple questions for you. Um, What is the career path to becoming, let me spell it right, becoming a chief technology officer. So it's telling you what you need to do. Um, some of the things that you need to become one, some of the, you know, your education, your training, you need some professional experience. So I'm going to ask another question. Let's see if they can answer it. Okay. So my next question is if I, if I have no experience in tech, where should I start? Or job should I get uh, to to start starting start learning the skills needed to become a chief technology officer? Let's see if they can give me a little bit more detail of an answer of what I need. So, okay, so here we go. What do you need to do to become one? Here's the get first. You need to get gain some basic basic technology. Uh, uh, tech knowledge. So beginning um, building fundamental uh, foundational understanding of technology. You can watch a lot of YouTube courses, online tutorials, courses. Come on, beginner friendly resources. YouTube is a good resource. As Udemy, those kind of to gain some knowledge about tech. Then pursue a formal education, get you a degree such as computer science, informational technology, get you a bachelor's degree, maybe whatever. Then it says self-study online. There you go. Here's some more supplemental your formal education with self-study online learning resources, numer numerous online pl platforms and other courses, tutorials to focus on the skills that are required for CTOR role. So we can also look in what skills you needed, such as software development, yada, 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 volunteer, intern team, where to go. To start with entry level tech roles here to gain just some experience, you can get you an IT support specialist, quality insurance testers. These roles will allow you to work directly with techn technology and learn and then tells you some more, con you know, get some education learning. Um, also, seek leadership management opportunities because you need some management skills, networking, building a professional network. There you go. Boom. Here's your journey. And then you can start asking more questions. Um, get more detail of what you need and what are the skills um, needed, you know, what are the skills needed uh, to be, uh, there you go, you can go down here and it can give you even some more skills that are needed so you can work on those skills as well as you are learning as i mentioned before earlier in this video it is good at making cover letters oh my gosh i don't know if you are anything like me i've always struggled with cover letters i never knew what to say how to say how to put it and you always want to make it specific for each uh company that you're applying but chat gpt pretty much knocks that out uh, out the gate where you can put the company name the position that you're applying for um, what you who you are as a person you can just write down who you are as a person and it will put it all together for you and help you with a good and then you can kind of regenerate and try to tweak some of the things to give you the cover letter of your gym before for the resume we're gonna ask the same type of question um, I am about to okay so the question I'm gonna ask is I'm about to ask you to write a cover letter to obtain an IT support specialist job before I asked, I need you to ask me 20 questions to get the best results. So, boom, baby. They're going to come with 20 questions. And just like we did before, we're just going to copy and paste these questions. I'm going to put that down. Pull this up like we did before with the last one. 
we're going to go down and we're just going to use the same note like we did before and the first question is let's see what the first one uh what is your full name this person's name is going to be billy bob again billy we're going to get you a job okay now once you answer all of the questions then you're going to place it copy and paste from your note place it right in there i also want to say i do highly recommend that any cover letter or anything that you get in there always spell check go to something like a website like grammarly and um definitely make sure the grammar and things are correct so like here you go boom says, Dear Hiring Manager, I'm writing to express my strong interest in the IT support specialist position at ABCD Software. With a passion for technology and a solid foundation and networking along with my CompTIA certifications, I'm confident in my ability to contribute to your team and provide exceptional support to end users. So boom, it just lets you everything, all the questions and stuff that I answered, it just so sweetly put it all in here. Um, get you to the point and boom you can go ahead spell check do that and then send it to your employer it is also good for networking believe it or not you can ask the questions about different networking events and different networking places that you should be looking and going to how to grow your network depending on the career and field that you want uh, to be in they actually have a lot of resources and places that it, places that it can suggest for you all right here we go my first question in the networking is what is the best place to network to obtain an IT, IT support job? Press enter. Okay, here are the answers it's giving me. Professional networking events, online pro uh, professional networks, LinkedIn, GitHub, all these other ones, uh, local IT user groups, oh that's a good one, alumni networks, job fairs, etc, etc, social media. So let's see here, what is a professional uh, networking event that we can go to? Let's see here. Are some of the best professional networking events for tech and IT tech support. Here we go, look, now you have some places where you can search and look up, come on, web summits and consumer electronic shows, you can look those up and see when those are coming in your local area. Um, you can, here's one more question I'm gonna, then I'm gonna leave you, but I'm telling you, I can spend hours searching and getting so much information. So another question I'll ask like, how do you network? Okay, my next question is, what are some tips on how to successfully network in tech to I obtain a job in IT support? So, today are some answers to those questions. Um, you know, define your goals, attend revelative, um, you know, events, be prepared, da 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 And my next question is, what should you have? when you go my last question is what should you have when you go to a professional tech work tech networking event to obtain a job in tech support and just to let you know for tech support you don't need to go all through all this to get a job in tech support but this is just an example of the questions you ask for whatever job you're looking for all right now let's get to what they said to do have updated resume, business cards, your elevator pitch, research, make sure you're uh, familiar with the speakers, what's going on, so have some questions prepared for some people that you may want to connect with and some future employers, be a, um, a knowledge of updates and trends and things that are going on with technology, professional attire, attitude, uh, active listening, come on, like they give you everything and like you can even go even ask like, what could be a good elevator pitch? Um, help me with my elevator pitch. You can go, like it can go on and on and on. 
you know what I'm saying, to get to a network. And that may be a f future video I can do about how to network with ChatBT and go even more detail, more questions and stuff to be even more prepared. If that's something you're interested, definitely write in a comment the comment section this but. new digital ai age that we're into it i am here for it let me tell y'all um it is definitely opening up a lot of eyes and a, giving a, helping a lot of us to reach some of our dreams and some of our dream job goals um i hope this video helps somebody out here who's kind of nervous about getting their job i hope you go ahead and get your dream job definitely write that in the comment section what is your dream job uh, i appreciate all y'all who are here and watch this video to the end. Definitely go ahead and write. Go ahead and put that heart uh, emoji in the comment section. I appreciate all the love and support that you show this channel. Uh, definitely give the video a thumbs up. Share. Do all that good stuff. Check out my blog at simplybeingsabrina.com where I have more blogs and resources there as well you want to check out. Especially if you're looking for jobs for working from home. I have a blog all about it and I even wrote a book that's only five bucks that goes into details about all the jobs and things that you can do by just working from home. So definitely check that out. And that's it for this video. I catch you guys in my next video. And as always, guys, God bless. Mwah.